Caddis Maximus here. This time we got the Weeha Ultra Driver hailing out of San Antonio, Texas. Actually, Weeha's distribution is in Montecito, Minnesota, not Texas. It's just the funny different ways that you can say Weeha's name, like Wee Ha, <laughs> like you're on a roller coaster. It is Weeha. It's a German based company, but once again, they do have distribution and even engineering in North America. This is their Ultra Driver. It's like 30 bucks, and it is, even though it is neat in some ways, it is ill-fated, primarily dealing with the whole internal bit storage system. It's locking, but it's kind of an interesting type of design. Kind of hard to see in there if I can just... There we go. You can just see a little finger there. And what they've done is they've carved a couple little tracks in there and they have these couple of fingers and when they get to the top of the track, they push in to lock the bit. They're designed to lock into these little tiny uh, cutouts that are standardized on quarter inch bits. It will accept a one inch bit. It does sink in a bit. It's not magnetized, so at least the bits don't want to get locked up or get stuck in there. Of course, there's special design. I worry about those little tabs of the fingers breaking off, but it does allow it to be quite narrow, you know, versus more traditional locking bit drivers. This basically maintains a near standard hex driver compatibility, or I mean accessibility, not compatibility. The real issue is, and there's like even on Amazon, you know, this thing's like 30 bucks, 35 bucks. And the real ill-fated nature is their whole storage system here. It should have been something just a little bit more simple, you know, just like a friction system like this Mega Pro. I'll talk about that in the next video. But the big complaints is they have these two buttons, and they're kind of ill-fated because they're trying to store bits in there. There just isn't much wall thickness, so the buttons don't have a lot of travel. And they're kind of a battle to get either they hold too tight and they're hard. it's hard to open, or... Uh, they don't hold very well at all. They're just held in by these like little tabs here. People, and that's where a lot of the negative reviews, and I absolutely agree, people drop this. These little locks fly out. This thing is like semi-spring loaded to make it easier or make it kind of pop out easier, spring assisted. And once those tabs fall off, this thing's always falling open. I think this is an interesting design, the way these bits kind of expand out, so it's real easy to grab them and just pop a bit out. See, these bits are kind of like an intermediate length, and so that's why they work real well in this driver. But sometimes bits get stuck in the screws, and once again, I'm just worried about those little tabs snapping off. These little holders are like little kind of squishy, semi-squishy plastic holders. And the other issue is dropping it. These holders can end up not just fatiguing, but just snapping and falling apart. There are a few photos of those. They're using an O-ring there as kind of a spring, which I suppose is fine. We have bits are strong, but they are brittle. And I'm actually just noticing on this one that that bit is actually fractured and shattered. Well, pull that out of there. I mean, they're nicely made bits. And as I'm just fiddling with this here, squeezing it I was squeezing this handle and I guess this is what they're using for a spring or uh, just like a little piece of silicone tube but these little tabs just fall out and it just sucks it's just a, it's a design defect it's just straight up right the only way to describe it and I'm gonna kind of end the video there because there's not a lot else to talk about besides uh, this this is just a super ill-fated system it should have been something where you push down and twist halfway or they could have just had um, Actually, it's something you could still do. Have some type of O-ring here where it just holds in via friction. But that's a big complaint. And the people who like the driver just haven't had it fall apart. Haven't had these things end up failing. The plastic's super th thin too. So if you actually end up using this a lot as a service technician, the sliding in and out will eventually wear these. And there was even photos of that where it had worn and split and then doesn't hold the bits anymore. Uh, it's just kind of a... You know, it could have been a decent driver, but they just totally failed on this bit retention system. Trying to make it fancy when it should have, this should have just extended out and you just had standard, you know, edge clip style like this, but instead with 12 positions. So anyway, 
That's my review of the little Wea Ultra Driver. Could have been a nice tool, but... I mean... I can't believe in testing they didn't notice the issues of these buttons not wanting to release, or not grabbing well enough, or falling out as soon as it gets dropped. And when those things fall out, actually when that button just fell out, I was lucky that I still had whatever what they're using as a spring in there. You'll never recover those little pieces when it falls apart and then the back end's always popping open. And it just kind of sucks and um, is a little bit questionable about their product design testing and proofing process at least when it comes to this stuff because it's obvious that this thing was not dropped very much uh, in testing otherwise they would have just noticed how these things just fly right on out of there anyway thanks for watching